Well, with most evangelists, you would think that their goal would be to win souls for Jesus Christ. But not Franklin Graham. His goal is to win people to get the corona jab. And we're going to talk more in depth about his plan to work with Biden on this very issue, guys. But if you could do me a huge favor, give this video a big like, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. So Franklin Graham, he gave this interview on Axios, it was on HBO, and he talked about a multitude of things. All these different clips are coming out about Franklin Graham and what he said. Of course, he's very pro-Jap, extremely. He got it. All of his family members got it. He said that Jesus Christ himself, if he was walking on this earth today, he would encourage that people get the jab as well. I mean, even the other day, he was saying that, you know, I want people to know this is serious. You could lose your life from Corona. This is why you must go out there and get the jab. But when asked further in this interview, the question came up, would you help assist the Biden administration in encouraging evangelical Christians to go out and get this jab? Franklin Graham said, absolutely he would. It would be his honor his great privilege to work not just with biden and his team but also the centers for demonic control any other medical organization that's pushing the jabs franklin graham would love to work with them because well it's about saving lives he's into working with anybody who wants to save lives now, I got more to talk about here, guys, with Franklin Graham. Let me take a quick pause, guys. If you could do me a huge favor, if God lays on your help to donate to our ministry, we would greatly appreciate that. We have no monetization here anymore, so you guys can help fund our ministry. We would really appreciate that. Links to do that are below. If you choose Patreon, $5 a month, you get my bonus podcast where I talk more about sensitive information. Plus, we also include the, the links to these YouTube videos up there because YouTube's not going to alert you for when all the new content comes out. Also there, you can comment on these same videos censorship free because youtube is blocking and hiding a lot of the comments you guys right now so patreon is definitely the way to go and I'll, also guys i'm on rumble go subscribe to me there too in case they take me down here off of youtube you never know all those links are down below so thank you guys all for that i really appreciate it but going on here with this interview graham even the question came up about do you think it was wrong the way that trump handled the media when president the way that he called them the enemy of the people Graham absolutely agreed with that. He said, I do think it was wrong of Trump to do that. I would not do that at all. He goes, you can't call someone your enemy just because they don't agree with you. Just because they don't agree with you, this was a coordinated effort they had to take this man down. This wasn't about a simple disagreement on policy. These these reporters, these 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 media personalities, they came in there every single day with the goal in mind to destroy this man. And if Franklin Graham can't see that, he's blinder than I am. I mean, I'm sorry, but this guy is completely out of his mind. He's lost it. He's lost it. He said he has no problem telling Trump the hard truths about things. And, though, you know, and he even went on to talk about the fact that, well, he, he has his doubts if Trump can run again in 2024 because he may lack the energy at age 78 to be able to hold the office. Like Joe here at age 78 himself has any energy. I'm sorry, but the man campaigned from a basement you want to call it campaigning. So Graham has completely, again, I just, it's so sad. You see someone of his stature, someone in his position, you would think he was, you know, well-loved, respected around the world, and he is now falling into this trap of deceiving people. And I mentioned here at the top, he's not trying to win souls for Christ. He's trying to win people to the jab. He's leading him down a dark path. Don't follow Franklin Graham, I'll tell you that right now. But guess what? We're trying to lead people to Christ. That's our ministry here. We bring in these prophetic news headlines. We break them down, talk about them in depth, but we're trying to wake people up to the soon coming return of Jesus Christ. If you don't know him as your Lord and Savior, here's your opportunity. You start by first acknowledging that you're a sinner. We all are, but God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. Now, what you need to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin. Not just to say you're sorry, but to actually turn from a lifestyle, a habit, whatever it is in your life that is against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he will wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't even remember it anymore. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God, 
you will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there's no greater decision you will ever make than the one you make to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I will have more for you guys on this below, including uh, the clip of Franklin Graham here talking with this interview about all this craziness. Remember, guys, if God lays on your help to help donate to our ministry, we'd appreciate that. The links are down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.